how to create sell and list nfts on rarible hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can create sell and list your very own nfts on rarible for free so having said that let's just jump into the video so for those of you who don't know rarible is an amazing platform where you can buy sell and mint your nfts and it's really really amazing now people might generally think that open seas is the bigger market but I think they can be wrong because a wearable is awesome in my opinion i think wearable is a little bit better than open seas because right now there are a lot of things happening on open seas there are a lot of buggy things have going on right now like sometimes i upload some nfts some errors occurred but that's normal i guess they're trying to do something i guess they're trying to do something so which is why i think it's better so let's get started so first we want to create an nft right and creating an NFT is very simple. It's very easy. It's not that difficult. Let me just show you. I already created one over here. It's a gift type of NFT. It's really nice. It's really cool that you can create one. It's really simple. Uh, not a lot of work put into it. I've created a bunch of other ones as well. Let me just show you. So if I come over here into my folder right here, you will see that I have a bunch of these CryptoPunks types of NFTs created. And they're really, really cool. So we can go ahead and create these as well. So it's, if you want to know how I created these, then just simply search for the video on the channel you will find it just really simple um how do i how do I, how to create cryptopunks nfts uh, for free uh, from scratch it's really simple it's really easy so if you watch this video you will know how i created this video and yeah guys that's it after that you will know how to you know actually sell them online as well so it's really simple it's really easy so let's get to it so over here, I'm on rarible.com and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and sign in. So to sign in over here, I've already signed in. So let me just go ahead and log out real quick so that you guys can know. So I'm going to click on sign out. There you go. I'm already signed out. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to click on sign in and it's going to take you over to this part of the website where you just have to simply connect your wallet. So you have Ethereum, you have Flow, you have Tezos, you have Polygon. So these are the cryptocurrencies that uh, Rarible uses and these are the blockchains as well and then down below you will have your cryptocurrency wallets as well so for ethereum you have a lot of options for flow you only have blockto for tezos you have only two uh install temple and beacon and for polygon you have metamask as well so so you can go ahead and choose whichever one you want uh for you can even choose polygon as well so each blockchain has different uh benefits if you choose ethereum then you, of course you will have to pay like a gas fee but you are exposed to a bigger market if you choose polygon or T flow then you won't have to pay any gas fees whatsoever but you will be you know uh, exposed to a smaller market because not a lot of people use these cryptocurrencies but since they are offering i'm pretty sure if you create a good enough nft anyone will buy it and then they will switch their blockchains it's not that hard really so for this video uh i'm gonna be choosing flow i would choose polygon but as you can see it's still in beta form so i don't know if it's a good option or not so i'm gonna go ahead and choose flow and i'm gonna click on block toe and what it's going to do is it's going to send a sign in option over here and i'm just simply going to confirm the transaction over here confirm the sign in and boom there you go it's really simple that was easy and after that you just have to you know create an nft and just upload it so let's just assume that we have created an nft right we have a bunch of nfts created and now what we want to do is want to upload them so let's go ahead and click on the create option over here so in front of you when you click on to create you first things first what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and choose a blockchain now usually in other websites such as open seas or any other website you choose the blockchain at the end you don't choose it at the first but here you choose it first so over here since i'm using block toe and i wanted to use flow and not pay any gas fees i'm going to click on flow and i'm going to click on continue so i already have some saved progress so i'm going to start from scratch i don't want to continue from my previous uh, nft so gonna start from scratch and over here as you can see the wallet is connected and i've chosen flow and over here you have to upload your file so it has to be in the form of png gif webp mp4 or mp3 and it has to be 100 mb max that's it and let's go ahead and choose our file so i'm gonna go ahead and choose our file so as you can see i have others as well but i'm gonna go ahead and install the ones that i created so these are the crypto punks that i created earlier and i'm gonna choose this one over here i don't know because i like it. it just looks good and once you've done that all you have to do next is just choose what type of uh, market you want to target so it can be open for bids or it's a fixed price market and then just enter in the price so it can be anything so for example i'm just going to go ahead and write let's say um 
let's say five maybe actually five is a little expensive one maybe maybe two actually yeah let's go with two so two and over here the, you're going to receive like 1.95 flow but that's because the 2.5 percent is the service fee that they you know cut from your that you that they cut from your take as a service fee because uh they need it and they won't have to and they don't you know uh charge you anything else everything is going to be for free so you don't have to worry about it this is the only fee that you they'll cut and you don't even have to pay it in advance you can only pay it once you sold your nft which is pretty amazing and then you have to choose a collection and also choose unlock once purchased but right now that's not available for flow so it's currently locked but we'll move on we're going to go ahead and see choose a collection and over here if you already have created a collection then you can go ahead and create one and choose that but since i don't have it i'm going to go ahead and skip it and then we come into the nitty gritty which is the name and the description and the royalties so first things first the name i'm just going to call it blue i'm just kind of blue that's its name the blue that's it nothing too special about it and then in the description i'm going to write its name is blue nothing special about it and yeah that's it which is sad because he's blue i don't care he's blue and then you have royalties now if you don't know what royalties are they're basically like for example uh commission you could say so for example if you sold your nft and someone's bought it and the one who's bought it is now you know reselling your nft now if he resells the nft for whatever price he does then you will get like a commission which is called royalties and it can be anything it can be like a 50 percent commission 30 percent 20 percent 30 percent it all depends on you now i'm gonna go ahead and go with 20 percent and that's my royalty fee and then you have advanced settings as well so in advanced settings you have properties which is basically optional so for example if you're uploading like a collection and one or two of those nfts are very very rare like they have different background or different colored hats or glasses or they have like a cigarette butt or a chain or any other accessory then you can add those over here but if not you can leave them be it's completely optional at all it all depends on you but if you're uploading a collection and some of them are real then i would suggest you you know uh, add in the properties as well okay so we're done we don't want to add the properties after that we'll just click on create item wait for a couple of seconds for the nft to be generated and over here it's going to upload all right it's uploading all of the media assets and metadata to its ipfs servers it's done that now it's sending a transaction to create your nft here we go here is the transaction we just have to sign it by clicking on the approve button it's processing all right and as you can see it's working i didn't have to pay any gas fee whatsoever it didn't say pay this amount or that amount see it's really simple like if you choose flow or or polygon then you won't have to pay any gas fee as well and now it's just sending the transaction to create your nft and after that it's going to send a transaction to set a fixed price and then it's going to be put on sale so really really simple so there you go now we're moving on to the final step so let's just wait for a couple of seconds and here we have the transaction now we just simply click on approve there we go it's processing and after that our nft will be put on sale and we can go ahead and celebrate there you go as you can see your blue nft is successfully created there you go and the status is confirmed and this transaction hash is over here and then you can go ahead and show off a little bit by promoting it on twitter facebook telegram email or you know copying the link and posting it on your social media or whatever and yeah and if you want to view it let's go ahead and view our nft so over here this is how it looks like when it's you know properly in view so let's go ahead and confirm the transaction real quick as you can see blue is available to flow one of one available its name is blue nothing special about it so yeah this is how it looks like so it's really nice it's really good so this is how you do it this is how you basically create list and sell your nfts online on variable for free so if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below now what if you don't want it to do the this on variable you wanted to do this process on another website let's just say like open seas and you can definitely do that over here as well the process is going to be exactly the same thing so you don't have to worry about it it's really not that big of a deal it's really easy it's really fun so yeah guys that is it so that's how you basically do it that's how you create list and sell your nfts on rarible for free so if you have any questions 
let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible and if you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful then be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and also if you know someone who is into nfts and wants to you know launch their collection or wants to sell an nft online on wearable or on open seas then be sure to you know share this video with your friends and family members or with that specific person so that they can also know how to do it and so having said that Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye.